unclassified antibiotics. Example of unclassified antibiotics is chloramphenicol. This chloramphenicol is the broad spectrum antibiotic and it was isolated from Streptomyces venezuela. The three important structural features present in the structure of chloramphenicol are nitrobenzene group, second dichloroacetamidoside chain and 1,3-propendiol system. Paranitrobenzene group, dichloroacetamidoside chain and 1,3-propendiol. Chloramphenicol contains chlorine and it is obtained from the actinomycete and thus it is also known as chloromycetin. It has the nitrobenzene substitution which is probably responsible for the antibacterial activity of chloramphenicol and it has the two asymmetric carbons in its structure. SAR of chloramphenicol. Replacement of NO2 group by other substituents decreases activity. Shifting of NO2 group from para position also decreases activity. Replacement of phenyl group by the alicyclic moieties results in less potent compounds. Paranitrophenyl group may be replaced by other aryl structures without loss of activity. Alcoholic OH groups are essential for activity. Other dihaloderivatives of the side chain are potent. Mechanism of action of chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol inhibit the protein synthesis by acting on 50s ribosomal subunit. Drug-drug interactions of chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol inhibit metabolism of tolbutamide, chlorpropamide, warfarin, cyclophosphamide and phenytoin. Adverse effects of chloramphenicol. Gray baby syndrome. The gray baby syndrome is due to the indiscriminate use of chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol toxicity is due to inhibition of mitochondrial protein synthesis. In small babies, metabolism is not well developed. So, chloramphenicol accumulates and causes toxicity. What is the treatment for gray baby syndrome? So, first of all, discontinue the medication if it is being given to the baby. If the mother is being medicated with the chloramphenicol, then first thing to do is to stop the breastfeeding. The baby will have to be hospitalized for the treatment, which can include the procedures like exchange transfusion and hemodialysis. In the exchange transfusion, the part of baby's blood will be removed and replaced with the freshly donated blood or the plasma using the catheter. While in case of hemodialysis, in this technique, the toxins are removed from the baby's bloodstream and a balance is achieved in potassium and sodium levels to stabilize the baby's blood pressure. Thank you.